This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in The Messenger of Allah may Allah bless him and grant him peace in one hadith he told the companions shall I guide you to an action that is the best of all actions the purest in the sight of your Lord and one that raises your rank and is better than you spending in the way of Allah through gold and silver and better that you should that you should meet your enemies in battle that they strike you and you strike them they said bala ya rasulullah tell us what is this great action he said dhikr of Allah remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed in another hadith qudsi hadith that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam related what Allah ta'ala mentioned he said I am as my servant thinks of me and I am with him when he remembers me if he remembers me to himself I will remember him to myself and if he remembers me in a group or gathering I shall remember him in a group or gathering better than theirs meaning the gathering of the great angels in the heavens alhamdulillah what a beautiful religion what a beautiful quran allah ta'ala says fadhkuruni adhkurkum remember me and I shall remember you. This is one of my most favorite ayahs of the entire Quran because in essence our religion is about iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in. You alone, O Lord, do we worship and you alone we ask for help. We're with Allah in this world, we're with Allah in the next world, we're with Allah in our grave and our hereafter and the day of judgment. All that we do is about pleasing our Lord Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now remembering Allah often doesn't mean that we sit from morning and evening and just recite the Quran all day long or do istighfar or salawat boy wouldn't that be wonderful but we cannot do that all day long we have obligations towards our families towards our parents we have jobs we have school we have a lot of different things that we tend to on our daily basis however there is a way to convert all of those mundane simple acts and make them sacred make them pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha when she described the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she said that he used to remember Allah in all of his states. So how can we remember Allah? We remember Allah before every action that we do. Is this for the sake of Allah? How did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do this? What does the Sharia say about this action that I'm doing? So let's take an example. I'm going to go to the market to bring something as for food from my family. I can just get in a car and go and just come back and never have thought about Allah. Or as I leave my home, I say, Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah. Oh Allah, I intend by going to the market to bring halal provisions to feed my family, as this is an obligation upon me. Therefore, I seek your pleasure and your acceptance and your reward. And then you go, fi sabilillah, while making sure you bring everything that is halal and good. This becomes rewarded until you come back. When we, even when we go to sleep at night, that we intend to rest our bodies so that we can wake up and worship Allah. Ulama have written whole volumes of books. Ibn al-Hajj, one of the great scholars, he has a four volume book called Madkhal that is just on the topic of how we can make our intention in every single thing that we do for the sake of Allah. So even when we go to work, we intend the pleasure of Allah that you're going to go seek halal provision for yourself and your family and to support yourself and this is rewarded and this is a sacred act there is nothing that doesn't become sacred including going for a walk eating reclining sleeping waking up you know uh, taking a shower for the sake of Allah to be clean to be healthy and to uh, be in a wonderful state so all of this becomes sacred all of this becomes rewarded may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who remember him often in every state and everything that we do that we remember Allah and therefore we are remembered by his mercy his grace his guidance and his acceptance amin ya rabbil alamin wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa assalamu alaykum thank you for listening this podcast was brought to you by seekers guidance the global islamic seminary Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. 
Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.